Before we use the formulas for concave mirrors, we need to know what the variables mean. So let's take a quick look at a diagram. This is a mirror. This is the axis, the center of the mirror. And you should already know some of these points, the focal point and the center of curvature and the vertex. The variables I'm interested in are D, O, D, I, H, O, and H, I, and F. Those are the variables that are important. So let's take a look. I put a candle here, this is my object, and I use a couple of rays, the parallel ray and the, and the focal ray, to locate my image, a rather poorly drawn upside down candle. So I can see from this diagram that the image is smaller and inverted and real because the rays are actually mapped. But we want to be able to calculate that and not have to do this by drawing a diagram. So the important variables are the distance to the object. That's the distance from this part of the uh, mirror to where my original object was. Height of the object is just the height of that. I've got height of the image. Well, that's the image. That's the height there. And distance to image from where the mirror is to where the image is located. And the focal length, that's this distance here from the focus to the vertex. So we're going to be using these variables with formulas. This is what they mean. And sometimes the numbers we get will indicate that the distance to the image is on the other side. That means it's a virtual image on this side of the mirror. What does that mean? It means when you look at the mirror, you see in the mirror an image that may be bigger or smaller or whatever based on your calculation. A real image means if I had a real candle here and had a mirror here, I could put a piece of paper here and I actually see, like reflected in there, an image onto my paper over here. So we'll go through a couple of calculations and you'll see that. Now that we know what the variables look like in a diagram, we need a sign convention because we're interested in knowing the orientation, the size, the location, the type, and the magnification. From numbers, we need some way of knowing if its uh, orientation is upright or inverted. This is where the sign comes in, the positive and negative. It'll also tell us what type it is and location. So these are our variables. The two formulas we have is 1 over F equals 1 over DI plus 1 over DO. And magnification is HI over HO or negative DI over DO. All this is very similar to what you're going to see when we talk about the same sign convention for um, lenses. But we're talking about mirrors, so I want to make one specifically for that. The focal length. Well, most of the time we think of a curved mirror, we think of a curved mirror concave. So that's a sign of positive. If the question says you have a concave mirror with a focal length of 10 centimeters, you have to put a positive sign in front of that. If it says concave, convex, you must put um, a negative sign in front of that. The distance to the image. We're mostly interested in, here's an object, here's a mirror, tell me what the image looks like. So height, distance to image and height of image are frequently what we're looking for. Distance to image, positive means in front of the mirror. That means if I have a mirror like this, and I have an object here, the image is in front of the mirror. It's on this side. It's not on the back side of the mirror. By the way, if it's in front of the mirror, it means it's a real image. So that's how we can tell what type it is. If we get a negative for DI, we calculate it, we get a negative, then it means it's behind the mirror. It means here's the mirror. Here's the object, the image is on the other side. I see it by looking at the mirror. I look at the mirror and I see my object reflected in the mirror and it may be bigger. So this tells me that the object is behind if it's negative and it's virtual. HI, height of the image. This makes a lot of sense. If the image is upright, we call it positive. So if I have a candle here and I look at the image and it's the same orientation, it's upright, HI should have come out to be positive. And that also tells me it's virtual. Uh, height of image, if it comes up to be negative in my calculation, it means it's upside down or inverted. And that actually means it's real. And HO, the object, and the distance to the object are always positive. Because we have an object, what's the image look like? We need positives and negatives to describe the image. The object, we know. Whatever it is, its orientation is upright, and the distance is the distance. So these are always positive. Here are the two formulas we're going to use. Let's do a sample problem. 